hope everyone's having a, hap a great Monday. I shuffled and drew two cards today and got sidetracked and forgot to cue things up. So now I'm doing it. My thought is what is it about what's going on with me right now gets me to be such a procrastinator gets me so sidetracked just can't stay on track and we pulled the raven and full moon cards out of the witch's oracle I don't know how well. And so, Raven. Said 84. Ravens are commonly associated with bad ob omens, tidings of death, sorrow, and destruction. But a great deal of ancient symbolism associated with this bird is positive. The raven is thought to be the most prophetic of all birds, and its intelligence is said to be quite high. In its symbolic mind, though, it... Back up. It is symbolic of mind, thought, and wisdom. Ravens are often seen as messengers between heaven and earth, and they are believed to carry messages back and forth from a higher plane. It is important that you hear the cry of the raven and open up your mind to the world on the other side of the veil. The wisdom of the ancestors and those who have gotten gone before is there for the taking if you just take the time to listen to what they have to say let them know they are not forgotten and embrace the knowledge they will offer just ask them a question and listen carefully for the answer it will pop into your head and their incantation to go with the raven my ears are open so please do speak it's your ancient wisdom I do seek. I give thanks to you on bended knee, because if there were no you, there would be no me. So because things from the other side are always flying at me, Card two, traditionally the moon warns of deceit, confusion, self-deception, fluctuating moods, and uncertainty. The cycles of the moon are important to magical workings, and the full moon is when magic is at its most potent and powerful. I think they're... Or two times, you know, I think the full moon isn't the only time. I think the new moon is also all a good time. It depends on what your intent is with what you're doing, I, th I think. During a full moon, everything will be magnified, both good and bad. It can be both viewed as a time of crisis as well as a time of opportunity. The full moon is symbolic of the height of power, the peak of clarity, fullness, and obtainment of desire. In a reading, the full moon lets you know that 
it is time to hone in on that clarity and use it to your benefit. That which was once invisible or secret is coming to the surface and it's important to know to excuse me now be aware of what's been buried in the past. Pay attention to your dreams, your feelings, and your hunches at this time. Your psychic awareness and spirituality is now heightened. Use it to your advantage. And the incantation is, I wish to see what is hidden before. The time is right to open that door. My power is strong and perception keen. Allow the fates to now intervene. So somehow I should... I need to make time for, oops, excuse me, doing things of exploration. And the shadow card is yesterday's card what else is on the bottom and what's on the top life Onk. The Ankh is the Egyptian symbol of eternal life. There is speculation that it is an evolution evolved form of or associated with the Egyptian glyph for magical protection, Sa. In ancient times, it was worn with two other hieroglyphs that meant strength and health. In modern times, the Ankh is usually worn as an amulet, a protector or something that is considered to bring good luck. It serves as an antenna or conduit for the divine power of life that permeates the universe and provides the wearer with protection from the evil forces of decay and degeneration. Sometimes we feel as though we were just going through the necessary motions and deep inside are wasting away. You have been dealing with some of these feelings recently. It ha it's as if everything has lost its luster and you have fallen down the rabbit hole. Nothing is horribly wrong, but it isn't quite right either. When you are having one of those days, use the energy of this card to turn those feelings around. Hold the card in your hand and stare at the symbol and repeat the words strength, health, and life three times. The number three resonates with energies of optimism, joy, manifesting your desire energies of optimism and joy manifesting your desires and clarity the incantation i am strong and healthy full of life free me from daily strife life will change from dark to light the future does indeed look bright and the chalice Chalices are filled with liquid. Liquid holds no shape, and it is in a constant state of change. Emotions are like water and are constantly changing from moment to moment. Emotionally, you have been sloshing around and coming very close to spilling over. It is time to steady yourself so that you can carry on 
and do those things that need to be done. Both feet planted on the ground. There's no need to flop around. Calm and balance will be the way to welcome in each brand new day. <laughs> okay. Well, this was going to be a shorter reading than it turned out to be. <sighs> Messages, take heart. From beyond, bring it together. Have a great day, everyone. Talk to you later. Peace.